welcome to get back to Kenya. We've left those lionesses and we're now with two adult male lions. Remember, this is 100% live coming to you from the Maasai Triangle. Now, there are four male lions in this coalition, currently only two catching a snooze. As I said, it's quite a cool, windy morning here in the Mara, but uh, very exciting to catch up with them. We're probably about a kilometer and a half from where we were with the lionesses. And um, well, unfortunately, they are quite flat. They haven't lifted their heads and um, for a while now but who knows you never know what's going to happen and uh, that is why we do a live safaris remember hashtag safari live on twitter if you've got any questions uh, for us out here so there's four males in this coalition and they said to cross the river as well so uh, they as far as i know so far and of course we're still figuring out all the line dynamics in the area they are lord over the angama pride the olololo pride uh, are their two main prides of lions that they 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 are lord over and I, I suppose all seven cubs of the angama pride are probably probably theirs but of course you know lions are strange creatures and females will mate with uh, nomadic males and in certain areas up to 50 percent of cubs born are not genetically related to the dominant males in the area so it is it is quite an interesting interesting phenomenon and as we spend more and more time here in the morrow we're going to understand more of what's going on so it is very exciting to catch up with these big boys i haven't seen them for about 10 days um, but we have been working in areas on the other side of the river and further to the south so we'll see what's going to be happening um, around here oh, have I lost comms again apologies I think my earpiece is giving up the ghost let me just play with it a little bit uh, there we go I think I've got Chantal back Oh no, I lost Chantal again. No. Okay, um, let me just try one more trick. Oh, there we go, we've got her. Okay, there we go, we've got Chantal back. So remember, any questions, hashtag Safari Live. Hello, Rossley. Rossley would like to know, is this the same coalition that the Scar male belongs to? It is not. It is another coalition of four. Uh, not sure on their name yet. We're still trying to meet with the, the lion researchers. They are uh, away at the moment, giving a presentation in the UK, so I have to wait for them to get back. Um, the coalition of four that Scar is part of are called the Musketeers, and they are mostly dominant over the Paradise Pride, which uh, is over the crossing area, so where the wildebeest cross the Mara River, and that is to the south and east of us and uh, we have seen them and I think Scar was actually seen in the Morrow Triangle yesterday so we might take a little meander from here and head further south and see if we can find any other lions or even hopefully that female cheetah that we've been seeing regularly around the hippo pools area so it is very exciting and it's the wonderful thing about being live we literally have no idea what we're going to see around the next corner It's very strong, or well, not strong, it's a, a slight breeze this morning. There was quite a lot of rain and wind last night. Aaron's wondering if we've seen the Kitra Tembo Pride yet. So, um, from my research um, and chatting to one of the lion experts, um, Patrick, who's on the other side of the river, and um, so basically in 2014, from the information that we've got, uh, the seven lionesses from uh, broke away from the Marsh Pride and crossed the river. Now, these seven lionesses basically make up what's called the Angama and the Olololo Prides at the moment, and they pushed the Kitra Tembo Pride out and north into the Conservancy. So, and we haven't seen them, and I don't think we're going to see them um, for the next foreseeable future as they have been pushed out according to the information that we've got so far on the lion dynamics in the area.
Justin would like to know why are the male lions so tired? Well, Justin, it's hard work defending a territory, uh, and also on average, lions sleep for about 20 out of 24 hours, and even their bouts of movement are not four hours of continuous movement. They'll walk for 20 minutes, sleep for an hour, walk for 15 minutes, sleep for 10, walk for an hour, sleep for three. So it all, all just depends. Now, they probably have been moving quite big distance overnight, patrolling, roaring, proclaiming their domain. So now that it's a uh, no longer night time and of course there's a couple of reasons why lions prefer to roar at night they're more active and the second more important reason is the sound carries over a bigger distance so other lions will be able to hear them from a bigger distance at night and generally at night the wind dies down as you can see the wind's blowing um, not too strongly now but that would also affect the sound of their roars carrying so most of their, their big patrolling and movement is done in the, no the nocturnal hours so and they will sleep for the majority of the day I don't think these males are going to move very far from these little bushes they might just migrate around as the Sun moves uh, just to get some shade although I think they might be in a bit of luck today it's it's some um, cloud cover coming in from uh, the north northeast so there we go and uh, well Dave and I are not going to complain either the the Sun up here when there is no clouds can be quite quite scathing I think we've gone about four four shades darker but of course we're bringing you a live safari not only from Kenya but also from the Sabi Sands in South Africa and it sounds like Jamie is on foot with elephants